Hai. Sasa, saseni, saseni. Karibuni sana kwenye channel yangu. And if you're watching this video and you've watched like two of my videos, you like me and you like my channel. So, how about you subscribe? Yeah? And hit on that notification bell. Thank you. <laughs> so, um today I'm going to be talking about my newly found skincare regimen and it's working guys. I've struggled with acne for quite some time now. The last two months have been my worst ever. Easy vitu zilini kujia vinyas jeni kujia tena like uh, big reddish white heads and it's painful like not really painful it's sensitive to touch. Nonaja says we, are, we have to like put on masks so uki press maski ki press to kidogo those cystic like acne or whatever it was painful and i've been using some products that are working and that's why i'm here sharing this content with you because i know i'm not alone in this struggle we are many and it sucks like i hope this works like for real for real you know <laughs> it's funny sometimes products work for a short period of time and then they don't work anymore ouch um of course this is not um a typical spray bottle this is a bottle that um it's our Ivera beauty vanilla orchid body mist bottle that i'm using as a a kidney in a potter what do you call it a spray bottle now i have one thing to tell with her beauty of course she's not watching this video like right now but very soon she might um i loved the original vanilla orchid i mean it was mild uh soapy-ish kind of fresh you know the kind of mist you want to wear at night but the second version had such a perfumey smell that is you know i don't know I wish she could retain the original version and then make like, you know, limited editions. The week in a Chanel do, you know. I think those designers are very clever. Like, you know, when sometimes you make a product, people fall in love with what you've made and they buy it. Now, when you come and change, it's disappointing. And of course, change is not constant. Um, you know, change is not constant. No, change is constant here. Yeah? And for a business to thrive, sometimes you have to put on some changes, but come on, why there? I mean, you, <laughs> you could have just like made a limited edition like anyway <laughs> this video is not about this whatever this spray bottle i'm going to be talking about my skin as i've already said and as i do that i'm going to be making two simple lines a very simple quarantine ka hairstyle yeah so uh, no 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 please no please i'm so oh god hey you can oh <laughs> see Okay. Uh, my first experience with acne was when I was 21 years. Before then, I had a small face, a baby face. Like, you know, I was those kind of girls when you're like, when compliments, oh my God, I love your skin. I keep on what do you use on your skin? Oh, it's so perfect. And then, just like that, just like that, these things happened. And now people are like, oh my goodness, what happened? Oh, oh. Can you okay go try try family planning pills um to me a charcoal uh to me a baking powder to me a, um what is it called uh apple cider vinegar they give you okay i know you mean well but you see these things we do not like it and we would love it if you stopped rubbing it on our faces like we are trying okay well <laughs> i'm not about to rant but anyway straight on to the video so two months ago this acne became worse. Like, it's never been this way before. You know, kitambo zilikuwa zinakuja, like, to we leave then to Naisha. But this time round, they came like, we are here to stay. You know? And <laughs> as she, well, sizes in Naisha, but as it was in Naisha, and they were painful. I think I've said this before. They were painful, na zilikuwa white heads. So they kind of felt disgusting. And, yeah, um... Because of the shock, I tried, and I was desperate to get rid of them, I tried so many things. Like, I would use a product for, like, a week, and if it's not working, I dump it, uh, try another one, then someone will tell me, oh my goodness, oh, try Cleanse It See, and then I would go, buy Cleanse It See, and use it, and then someone will tell me, oh, try Bot Sun, and I would go, try Bot Sun, and I would use it. God. <laughs> Nime tumia three types of vinegar. Nime tumia, um... What is it called? 
Where are those kids screaming? Oh, okay. Wanacheza too. I've used baking powder. Okay. By the baking soda used to work kidogo. To cut the story short, I've used a lot of products. And it's my little sister who like made me sober up. I hate to say this says, but yeah, will it will make a lot of sense when you told me that if I'm going to try some, if I'm going to heal my acne, then I have to be consistent. I have to find like a product and if it works, I stand by it. And if it, still, if it's not working, like I have to give it time, you get, because I was very impatient. I'm not a patient person, but that's beside the point. So, and then she told me that if you're using too many products, how are you going to know the product that works? And she made a lot of sense. And I hate that she did. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did. So uh, Kitambo, there's a time I used to use Johnson's products and I felt they are mild. And this time around, I didn't want something that is strong. I didn't want something that is pharmacy-like. You know, I didn't want pharmaceuticals. I didn't want those heavy chemicals. I just, want, I just wanted to love my skin, be tender, be more caring, you know. So what I did, I went back to the supermarket and I found this product here this is the johnson's face care daily essentials oil balancing gel now hold it there it's a gel, it's an oil balancing gel now regardless of the underlying issues when you have an oily skin that means your body overproduces sebum yeah and that leads to cloggings now come up okay what are to sink deep into that the point here is i believed I still believe that if you find a way to balance your oils, then that means kutakwana less overproduction of the sebum. And that means probably just maybe and hopefully the acne will go away. So that's why I gladly took back this cleanser. It smells nice. Um, well, it's a little scented, but I have the worst and the most sensitive skin. So guys, if it's not reacting on me, I believe in a for almost all, all of you guys. So when I got this, I remembered my sister's words that I'm not supposed to use a lot of, you know, products. And I was very determined to make sure that I'm using just one brand. That's why I also went for moisturizer from Johnson's. Now, I love this moisturizer because it's like a dual action moisturizer, oil free. Now, remember, when you you have an oily to oily to dry no not really oily oily to normal or combination skin that means you don't really want to have a lot of oils in your like you you would rather not have an oil based moisturizer here yeah? for the cleanser the cleanser was 970 shillings i think so or 790 oh god my battery is almost low um and this moisturizer was like 800 so yeah it's quite affordable and i've used them for two two to three weeks and let me tell you guys for the first time in two months there wasn't so much breakout and the pimples were less painful and the white heads were like disappearing so i can vouch for this uh the cleanser and the moisturizer now here comes um another thing when you use this uh, when you use this moisturizer it's oil free yeah so that means your skin becomes very dry and also you don't want your skin to be very dry because your skin uh it ascends that eco dry so still there's a kind of a production of the sebum and at the end of the day this can be counterproductive i wasn't about to wait for that yeah so what i did i found an oil because we have an FMA dam and i'm grateful to because that it's well, not that it's just a minute and honestly, I wish I did this. Guy, even in a Okay, I'm sorry. I'm back. Um, I think internet is going to be So I'm ready. And I was checking out my views and how many people have subscribed to my channel. So, anyway, you guys subscribe and share to your friends. Yeah, what I channel is grow. So, where was I? Um, I realized that these two products, despite the fact that they were working so well, they were also drying my skin. And as I mentioned, this can be counterproductive. Yeah. So what I did is I I started researching on a good oil that I can use. Most most probably, I I was biased towards this organic stuff. So Instagram, there's this lady Anito Animo. She has an IG page, Anito Animo Naturals, and <laughs> let's say at I think product placement is very important because the fact that I'm engaged in a natural zap, I was like, okay, let me try this. This is organic. Uh, rose hip oil, marula oil. No, marula hana. Oh, 
yeah i think ako nayo ako na hohoba oil ako na lot of oils uh, the first idea was nilikuwa ni buy online and have them delivered and i thank god i didn't because i also wanted to buy their their shea butter hmm. so coincidentally i happened to be going to town like that ka week so i called her and she directed me to philadelphia house next to afia center that floor ukondo wakona company a logistic company that you know does their sales and if you want to go there make sure you have your id okay so i went um and i told the lady i want the argan oil initially i just wanted the you know the basic argan oil then i remembered kwa page kulikuwa na argan facial blend here it is now here so this facial blend ikona it's a blend of cold pressed moroccan argan oil rose hip oil jojoba oil and carrot seed oil infused with essential oils guaranteed to leave your skin with a youthful glow am i glowing guys am i very soon just just <laughs> just keep it here oh and i love the fact okay i was disappointed because i knew but anyway it was 600 shillings but still ni kadogo so yeah it has a dropper so i usually use like two drops oh by the way this is cheap it's afford not cheap cheap is um uh, it's not a good word it's of affordable because despite the size you're just using like two drops two drops that means this thing can go for a lifetime so when i started using this argan oil i realized that my skin was getting less dry so within three days skin ilikuwa may improve because initially liko in a dry mpaka naumia huku mpaka naumia huku so i stopped now in my skin care regimen it was it was what's happening ni mzima hiyo kitu sa hizi tu muliza mile book ya the ghost of gal batura ni tula manitura kikayo learn so yeah i start so now I was having the Johnson's cleanser, the Johnson's moisturizer and argan facial blend. This is from Carrefour, this is from Nemo Naturals. I call Instagram. Now, and I was so happy because honestly, I'm not sure if you can see this. Let me check this out, but well, sometimes I do wear on foundation and if someone wears on foundation, I must just make up it hides it hides the scars but right now niko very bare bile tu niliza okay si bile nilizaliwa bile tu niliamka um and i can tell you for sure that pimples hazitoki tena however i still have some stubborn ones zenye hazijakauka hapa of course the scars have remained the pimples you're seeing right now they're not new they're not new pimples they're the ones that were there kitambo but bado hazitapotea and that's why i decided to add benzoyl peroxide i know i said sit at me a lot of products but seems like I'm, i keep on adding a lot of products but naweza jitetea if you know Joanna Kinothia and Natalie Tewa then you know that benzoyl peroxide have has worked for them they've had terrible acne even worse than mine and they swear by benzoyl peroxide actually a lot of people swear by benzoyl peroxide so the plan was to buy this from RC accessories still on Instagram or Bandari Beauty but because of the, this covid-19 kivinye what are import V2 anymore so i kept calling kina RC accessories kina Bandari because at least for them i know they are legit they sell like original stuff and i wanted that one from acne.org but every time that, that that i called them they kept telling me oh ship uh, shipment yetu imechelewa we are not sure now and then i would ask them okay fine so when can i come uh, when will i get the benzoyl peroxide and they would be like we are not sure with the corona issue and i was like okay fine maybe there's something special with this acne.org be, uh, benzoyl peroxide but i mean sini benzoyl peroxide too so maybe i can try the one at the pharmacy stores and that's what i did nikaenda kwa chemist and got this benzoyl peroxide 5% Staki kufanya hivyo sana msione kucheza angu ni kucheza quarantine. <laughs> so in your form this benzoyl peroxide um I'm applying it once but okay I was told to apply it once but I feel like I'll be applying two times cuz ile acne.org they use it two times. Now this is how I go about it. Oh um I cleanse I must no I cleanse I tone I use rose water for toning. I've used this for so long. Although ni kwani may ignore for some time, but I also realized, you know, flashbacks and I realized that every time I would use this rose uh rose water as a toner, 
asubuhi siku anamka na two pimples so I was like I'm getting it back plus it's not like chemical chemical ni maji imetolewa kwa rose flower so with this it's valentines every day and it's just 70 shillings and I use it for my hair like neka to hivi you know um well it doesn't smell the greatest but I can use it to wet my hair if I don't want to use water because well they say it, it has a lot of benefits to your hair so it's always a win-win uh, type of a scenario to have your rose water so when I cleanse shit so when I cleanse I usually turn with rose water then I go in with the benzoyl peroxide natumia kidogo heavy because I'm using when you wanna go kwa acne dot You're supposed to use like this for a week, then you use like this for a week, and then by the time you week in gini naisha ya tatu, unatumia hivi, and then you continue like that. So for now I'm using hakaka dog it's a peanut size. Well, peanut zop as one. It's a cashew nut size. <laughs> yes, and then after using the benzoyl peroxide, I use this moisturizer. After using the moisturizer, I use two drops of the argan facial blend, and that's it. That's it, guys. And after introducing the benzoyl peroxide, still no more breakout, but these ones have not dried yet, but I'm trying to be patient, very patient, because it's been two days, yeah? So, like, I don't have a chance, I just have to be patient. If it doesn't work within the, uh, within a month, if I don't feel like easy to make a then I'm definitely going to go for the, you know, the acne.org ones, the one that has worked for a lot of people. Now, today I made a mistake. I'm not sure if it's a mistake with the product that I used or it's how I used it. Usually when using benzoyl peroxide, unaimbos it to me a lot of products. Actually, una discourage to me other treatments. So after cleansing and moisturizing and the oil, that should be it. But it's a Sunday and I love, I used to love taking care of my skin before all this happened. So I was like, okay, finally skin is quite sensitive. Sana. So maybe I can just use a charcoal mask, uh, the peeling charcoal mask. This one, this one, so that's what I did. I'm not sure if the problem was using the charcoal mask or the fact that I stayed for it. Ah, I stayed with it for too long because after putting it on, after wearing the mask, I started making breakfast. So that means I had the mask for like an hour, not an hour, for like 30 minutes. And after you know, rinsing and doing now my kawaida regimen, after like 20, no, well, that has been after how long to be very honest, but I realized Nimenza kukwa reddish huku and skinny kanza kukwa tingly and it's like I was having a burning sensation. The kind of feeling that you feel when you've done too much to your skin. And I'm not sure if it's because of, of a staying with a mask, I mean, it's because of staying with a mask. So, just to be on the safe side, I'm not going to be using a mask anytime soon. Now, here's the plan I'm going to use all those products that I've shown you today for the next two weeks, and then after which, I'm going to do a review. Of course, before I ditch this benzoyl peroxide, I will do another video and I show you, guys. <laughs> I hope that this is it. I hope this is my last. You know my last battle with acne and i hope okay not hoping i know i'm going to win and i hope it's now like right now now with these products because yeah, it's tiresome now before i finish this video i for someone who doesn't know if you have acne please do not scrub do not scrub with those mechanical scrubs you'd rather go for a chemical pill and that's my plan also if these things work well or if I introduce the acne to a benzoyl peroxide instead of this one, then two weeks after that, I'm going to use a chemical peel. Because all this that I'm using is supposed to, you know, prevent new breakouts and maybe help shrink and drain of the already existing pimples. But the scars might remain. Although now my scars is in Asia already with whatever I'm using. So, but still, after two weeks, two months, if the scars are still in sana, I'll introduce a chemical peel. I'm most, I'm most, I'm most likely need to me the ordinary products. People say the ordinary, uh, the ordinary brand eco sour sana. So yeah, I'm going to be using a chemical peel. Now the reason you're supposed to use a chemical peel, um, instead of a mechanical peel is that your skin is already delicate. So wakati una scrub scrub hivi unaumiza. You get. So you introduce new bacteria. Your body also has to you know react. A lot of sciences in there, but if you use a mechanical scrub, be rest assured, a 
acne yako haitaisha utashinda tu kizunguka zunguka hapo so if you've been using a mechanical scrubber size no kuna issue ya sensitive skin please stop and go for chemical peel it works the same only that the chemical peel is much more gentle to your skin and you get the results and that's what we all want yeah yeah that's it for today's video to learn stronger to come through it's been a long time since i made lines and yeah i don't know uh if you've used this benzoyl peroxide and it worked for you i wouldn't mind knowing when i keep my apologies every time that i'm making a video you may notice a message work and i'm here <laughs> oh god i am so sorry i'm so sorry okay now i want to say something before i finish this video guys subscribe and share to your friends i want to get to 100 subscribers with this video and if i get to 100 subscribers i'm going to do an insane video of me celebrating you're going to enjoy it um like i'll be showing you different ways you can have fun during quarantine yes that one and then well 